With a groan, Elena pulled herself further up the crumbling stone steps, her lungs burning, boots scraping against the ancient, moss-covered stone. The air thickened with the scent of damp earth and something more acrid, metallic, hanging heavy on the tongue. The oppressive silence of the abandoned monastery was broken only by the rhythmic clink of her climbing harness against the rusted iron railings. She'd been warned about the place, of course. Whispers of forgotten rituals of an entity that feasted on fear echoing through the empty halls. But Elena, a seasoned urban explorer, thrived on adrenaline and the thrill of the unknown. Tonight, the legend of the weeping monk seemed like a mere campfire tale, a figment of overactive imaginations. Reaching the top of the staircase, she found herself in a vast, dusty hall. Sunlight bled through the stained glass windows, casting grotesque shadows on the cracked flagstones. Cobwebs thick as curtains hung from the vaulted ceiling, and broken pews lay scattered like fallen teeth. A shiver ran down her spine, the metallic tang in the air pricking at her nostrils. A faint whimper drew her attention to a dark alcove behind the altar. Curiosity outweighed her apprehension and Elena inched closer, her headlamp piercing the gloom. There huddled in the corner was a figure in a tattered brown robe, its head bowed low. As she got closer, the whimpers turned into choked sobs, a raw, primal sound that sent shivers down her spine. Hesitantly Elena called out, Hello? Is anyone there? The figure remained motionless, shrouded in shadow. Her heart pounding in her chest, Elena reached out a tentative hand. As her fingers brushed the fabric of the robe, it erupted in a flurry of movement. The figure shot up, revealing the face of a young man, his skin pale as bleached bone, eyes wide with terror. Help me, he rasped, his voice hoarse and desperate. Please you have to get me out of here. Elena's initial shock gave way to sympathy. She reached for him, but as she did, the man's gaze darted past her shoulder, his face twisting into a mask of unimaginable horror. No, he shrieked, pointing behind her. Don't turn around. But curiosity gnawed at her. Slowly, cautiously, she turned her head. There, in the doorway bathed in the spectral glow of the stained glass window, stood a tall, emaciated figure cloaked in black. Its face was obscured by the hood, but the glint of moonlight off something metallic in its hand sent a jolt of ice through her veins. This wasn't just a legend. This was the thing the whispers spoke of, the weeping monk, its skeletal hand clutched around a wickedly curved scythe. Panic says Adelena. She scrambled back, the young man's desperate pleas filling her ears, but the scythe was upon her in a blur of motion. The world dissolved into a whirlwind of steel and screams, the metallic tang overwhelming her senses. Then darkness. Elena woke to the sound of dripping water and the musty smell of the crypt. Her head throbbed and her vision swam. She sat up, her body protesting with a symphony of aches, and took in her surroundings. She was chained to a cold stone wall, a single flickering candle casting dancing shadows on the damp bricks. And he was there, the weeping monk standing opposite her, his hood now thrown back to reveal a face ravaged by time and sorrow. But it wasn't his face that held her gaze, it was the tears streaming down his skeletal cheeks, each one a glistening shard of obsidian. As he approached, the scythe scraping against the floor with a bone-chilling screech, Elena finally understood. The weeping monk wasn't the monster, he was the prisoner. Trapped in this decaying shell, tormented by the echoes of his sins, forever reliving the horror he had unleashed. And she, in her hubris, had unwittingly become his latest victim, not of his blade, but of her own voyeuristic hunger. His cold hand reached out, his touch like the grip of death. In that final moment, Elena faced not the terror of the scythe, but the unbearable sorrow in his weeping eyes. It was a sight far more horrifying than any legend could ever describe. The darkness returned, this time permanent, a chilling echo of the weeping monk's endless torment. Elena vanished, another victim of the monastery's grim secret, leaving behind only the faint clink of chains and the echo.